Hello guys, this is only Abi doang and today I'm going to show you unicorn abilities and also how to find them in the Sims 3 pets. Okay, first of all, before you can witness all of their abilities, you have to find them first of course. There's a 33% chance that the wild unicorn will appear at night from 8pm to 5am, usually in a fishing spot lot. The obvious sign of a unicorn's presence is a cloud aurora thing that shines the unicorn which you'll see from the map view. After 5am, the unicorn will vanish. But don't worry, if you've interacted with the unicorn before, your relationship with them won't be reset and you can still continue interacting with them in the future. Note that wild animals such as raccoons, deer, and unicorns will only appear on the suburban type of world. So don't expect to find them in worlds marked as a late night city, such as Bridgeport. After locating the unicorn, you have to befriend them high enough to be able to adopt them. Of course, the unicorn won't accept you immediately. Try watching the unicorn from the distance first. Then try approaching them by letting them sniff your hand, giving them treats, and eventually they will allow you to rub their neck and pet them. After you have high enough relationship, the invite unicorn to join household option will appear. If you try to do it but get this effect and message instead, you still haven't met the requirements. The requirements are that you have to be BFF on three creatures, either cats, dogs, or horses. To know if your pet has chosen you as their BFF, if your relationship with them is high, you'll get a soothing sound effect along with a message saying that this pet chose you as their BFF. If the pet happens to be a member of your household and you have a high relationship with them, you can also do it manually by playing as them, click on the sim and choose be BFF. Also, unlike adopting wild horses, you don't have to have enough riding skills to adopt a unicorn. After all of those requirements are met, try adopting the unicorn again. If succeed, the unicorn will deem you as a worthy companion and you'll have your own unicorn to play with. Something to note, every world will only have one wild unicorn. So after you adopted one, a new wild unicorn will be generated to inhabit the world. Okay, let's talk about their characteristics and abilities. By default, unicorns have a horn, of course, and a goatee for male unicorns. They come in two coats, black or silver. Their coat also projects a faint glow. They already have a random and unique name when you first found them. They live three times longer than a normal horse. Their needs deplete slower than a normal horse. Because of that, you don't have to pay a lot of attention on them. They automatically have maximum raising and jumping skills, so you don't have to waste your time training them. They gallop at an extremely fast speed. Really fast, like Sonic fast. They also leave a trail of sparkles and glitters behind them whenever they run. Whenever they graze, eat hay, drink water, etc., a rainbow will appear from their horn. They can do this cool idle animation where a small plant grows near their hooves and then be blown by the wind. If you don't want to play with them anymore, you can play as the unicorn and choose return to wild. They will then disappear forever and their relationship with everyone will be deleted. When they die, they have a unique tombstone that differs from other horses. Instead of a horseshoe, a picture of a unicorn horn will be carved. They can be bred with other unicorns or other horses, but like sims, if you breed them with a normal horse, the foal will have a 50% chance to become a unicorn. However, a unicorn foal won't have access to unicorn powers until they become adult. Unfortunately, you can neither breed nor sell them in the equestrian center. Aw oh man, their horn will be worth millions. I guess smuggling is the only way now. If they pee in the horse stable, you can then clean the stable to get a unicorn fertilizer, which is an outstanding quality fertilizer that can be used for gardening. They have access to some cool magic powers, but before I go there, I want to explain how the magic energy mechanic works. They have no magic bar that indicates their magic energy, but instead, you can track it from their moodlets. When they get the power shortage moodlet, it means that their magic energy is at half capacity left and needs to be recharged. But if you keep using the powers before the moodlet runs out, you will get a moodlet called power failure. 
which means that your magic energy's capacity is already empty and needs recharging. While this moodlet is in effect, you cannot use any magical powers until it expires. Now let's get to the good stuff. They can use Blast Flora to plants to make them grow into the next stage or cause them to produce their harvestable if they're already mature. This magic power can also be used to revive dead plants. They can also curse flora to plants to make them die immediately. I don't know why you would do that to yourself, but you should probably use it on your neighbor's garden. They can bless fauna to other sims or pets. They will get a positive moodlet called Unicorn's Blessing that also causes you to learn skills faster than normal. They can also curse fauna to other sims or pets that will give them a negative moodlet called Unicorn's Ire. The moodlet also causes you to learn skills incredibly slower than usual. If your sim or your pet got some fleas, you can use your unicorn to use Cure Fauna to wipe out their flea infestation. It can also be used to cure a unicorn's curse and a mummy's curse from the Sims 3 World Adventure. They can teleport to a selected area, which will use a little bit of magic energy. They can summon fire anywhere by using the Ignite interaction on a selected area. Additionally, they can also remove them by using the Extinguish interaction. The Extinguish interaction can also be used to put out sims on fire. And those are some of the characteristics and abilities of the Majestic Unicorns. I hope I've covered all of them. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope that you click like button below. And if you like these kind of videos and want more, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more sims content. You can also comment down below ideas for my next videos. See you later.